Hey, hey everybody and welcome to this advanced steel clip where I just discuss the possibility or the hypothesis that advanced steel just might be backwards compatible sort of right so here we've got a model in advanced steel 2024 and you realize all of a sudden that ah oh, there's a particular extension or add-in that you'll need to use to transfer this model to another software package and that extension or add-in is only available in advanced till 2023 or you need to transfer this into um yeah, just uh you need to get this into advanced till 2023 because your client only has access to advanced till 2023 whatever the scenario might be it is very well possible that you find yourself in a position where you are working on a, a model in whether it's advanced till 2024, 2023, and you need to get it into an older version of the software. And we know that this is the, the bane of any software user is basically that that backwards compatibility. Um, there's not a, there's not a lot of it. So, what I just want to show you, so I'm in Advanced Hill 2024, as you can see, I've got my model here. I've saved my model and I'm going to close it now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Advanced Hill 2023 and I'm going to try and open up that file. Okay, so here we go. There's that training model file and this is what you're going to get. Advanced, can I read this DWG format as the 7.22 and will be closed. And the problem is that you can also, you also are not able to open this up in previous versions of AutoCAD as well. So you can't even use AutoCAD as a bridge between the different versions. But all right, there is a way. Okay, so I'm just going to open this up again. So where I came across this is that in Revit, once you've installed the advanced steel extension, which is freely available, I noted that Revit files are exported as .smlx files, which if you're using the advanced steel extension, which can then be imported into advanced steel. So what you can do is if you look in your advanced steel tabs, you go to export and import, then there's advanced export, and you see there's that smlx file type, and you go advanced export then we're going to export this as training model.smlx i'm going to hit save the model must be saved to keep the export compatibility yeah sure i'm going to save that and then with this model still open i'm going to go to advanced steel 2023 export import advanced import and i'm going to import that dot smlx file and hit open and there we go the display settings are a bit different for my 2023 and 2024 versions but there is your model with its connections as well i just want to see if i did not accidentally switch off my Joint boxes or connection boxes? No. Let's see if I can edit these. Advanced properties. Okay, there's that one. Let's see. And there's our Apex again. So I just made this a bit more difficult for myself because I probably, I think I turned off my um, connection boxes in advanced till 2024 before i export the model but here you can see you can now edit that joint again so it doesn't even it doesn't lose that smart functionality which you really want to retain between different versions and that's it i think there might be a problem if you have a joint or connection that's only available in advanced till 2024 I'm not sure how that's going to transfer between different version, but versions, but if they have the same connections, if those connections are available in both versions or even in previous versions, so advanced till 2022, 
etc i don't think that you're going to have a problem so i hope that this helps you out please hit that like button and subscribe uh chuck a, chuck a thank you very much in the comment section if it did help you just so that i know as well and you're welcome to request other content as well i'll be happy to have a look at it for you so yeah i hope that you have an awesome afternoon or morning further wherever you are and i'll check you soon